have your clips ready. Right click on the clip and then go to properties. Now go to video FX and look for S blur mockers, by the way you need the sapphire plugin. Drag the default one on our first clip. Now change them to reflection. Change this to 0.500. Now rename it and save it, so it will be easier to use in the future. Click this Z dist clock and have this locked it will track the keyframe. Now count 10 frames from the end of the clip and put 0.900 Go at the end of the clip and put 0.100 Now we're done with the zoom transition Next we'll do rotation Click the little clock, just follow the Z disk keyframe Count 10 frames from the end of the clip and put 10 Go at the end of the clip and put 100 going to do the same thing on the second clip but the opposite of the first clip. Just follow me, 